And we've been joined live in the studio by a very special guest of the show who's here to promote the front bar oh, yeah. tonight on Channel 7. Yes, that's right. Oh, my <laughs> God. You've been sacked by but it's all the... Sam Payne. <laughs> What an intro. MG, he's not allowed to talk for a minute. By the way, it's, okay. it's the only station that hasn't zacked him in the last five years. So I don't know how you don't remember it. I'm back. But good morning to you all. It's wonderful to be here. And, uh, yeah, this is great. This is my third week in a row. And I don't know if I mentioned this. It's, I'm starting to feel a little bit like Heather Locklear in Melrose Place, where she was on every week, yes. but would still insist on getting billed as special guest star. Yes. Do you remember that? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Right. Well, what about yes. the love boat? Remember the old love boats? And they yeah, go, well, a special guest star. And they were, they were, they were no, like, are no. you on? <laughs> on who, was, who, was the, who was the, like, a Spanish chick, Conchetta? Uh, uh, yeah, look, uh, by the way, this no, is one thought, of your more topical references. I thought Gopher was a special guest each week. The Gopher who? was a special The bloke who played Gopher. He was Gopher was in the cast. Guest. Isaac yeah, he was, he was He was all like special guest as well. Uh, Gopher ran for politics. I think he was a he senator. Did. did he? He did. With Sonny Boner. You know, the, yeah, <laughs> all right. Look, can we move on? Okay. Hey, what do you want to talk about? I, got, I know what I want to talk I almost... Okay, just quickly, before we get into it, can I just mention Kathy Freeman yes. and Mel Meninga on the show big tonight? Meal. Yes. That's what I actually wanted to. I actually wanted to start because we can have a chat and all that. But this is big because Kathy Freeman is unbelievable. I'll be a bit yes. nervous. And MG, with the greatest respect, Mel Meninga was my favourite ever uh, league player. He was my favourite too. <laughs> was he? Did you did oh, you look, cross over? He How about yeah. with him? Yeah, he, uh, he was the a Kangaroos the, tour. Was he? Yeah, he was the captain. Nineteen ninety Kangaroo tour. I played against him in two grand finals. We won one. They won one. And uh, he's one of the he's one of the real. He's an, he's an immortal. So he yes. deserves that billing. He's a fantastic ornament to the game. And he coached, don't forget, Queensland to that record eight series in a row. So the, the man is a, is a statue of our game. And you were saying that the, towards the end, though, he just was getting a little bit soft. Is that what you're saying off air? Yeah, well, he wore pads on not, his not, arms. Not scared. I didn't, you didn't say scared, but you, I think if Mickey and I hadn't have, hadn't have stopped you, you probably would have yeah. Anyway, listen, I've got a question for you, which I'm going to ask yeah. him. <laughs> How is he allowed to wear an arm guard for for all those years? He's in a in a in a, in a front on contact sport where he fends and leads with his arm. He's let to wear a cast. He he wore he broke his arm twice in the one season, so he came back with this modified padding on his arm, which was basically like having a plaster cast on his arm, which would <laughs> whack blokes with, and and only Mal could get away with it. Only only Mal could get away with it. Did you ever get hit with the with Oh, the yeah, many times, armband? many times. Yeah, many times. It was like, was it like? By, by a baseball bat. <laughs> <laughs> were, were they, were, as you and as an opponent and other teams, were they, did they ever like, just uh, politely inquire as to whether Mal should be wearing it? Oh, yes, he had, to, um, he had to kind of show the officials before a game exactly what was in it, and then there was a rumour going <laughs> that every time the officials would walk out the door, he'd put something in it, like, oh, yes, yeah, steal a pole. <laughs> This is amazing. They used to carry a shiv too. But... <laughs> so that oh, yeah. was it. I used to ta- There's only way to tackle Mal, and that was around the head because he can't run without eyes. That's, there that's you go. very good. <laughs> uh, it's a Mate. fascinating insight into the mind of MG. Oh, it's, it's such right a there. nuanced game. I sometimes forget. Hey, uh, it's it's very exciting. So it's very really exciting. Great. It's our last all sports show, and what a way to go out. It, it is indeed. And, and other news, we spent the weekend together in uh, Newcastle, Newcastle, and I thought that was a. A load of fun. We did three shows for the great people of Newcastle, and uh, we had fun up there. By the way, I'll mean, make the point, because I go on Marty Sheargold's show once a week. So Marty has me on his show yeah. once a week in Melbourne, but yeah. can't go to Newcastle. By the way, your name came up last time. Her, me and Marty were having a chat. Have a listen to some kind words were said. And why would you talk to Pang to sell the show? Jesus oh. Christ, of all the blokes, honestly. I Pe- wouldn't people's... watch Pangy if you paid me a hundred bucks. He is terrible. We don't listen when he's on, do we? we no, go. I go out just oh, a uh, Let us know when he's done. Yeah, tell me when Pang's finished so I can come in and get rid of some of the stink in here. That's right, and we'll see how many have left. Oh, Hang God. about. Wow. Right now, yeah, that's no, been taken like out of context. <laughs> <laughs> that was AI. No, that, was, that was AI. I what, Mickey's AI. That's right. I think what some of what Marty said there was unfair. And, I think MG, so. did you, when, I'm assuming that was was that played. Has that been played this week? It has, mate. Yeah. Did you defend me, MG? Yeah, I did. I did. I said, mm. "How dare you? How dare you talk about Sammy when he's not here to defend himself?" He that sounds Sam. like you just. You just <laughs> thank you, Kat. That's, I'm, I'm the say, only that honesty sounded... meter in here. No, he did not. <laughs> so it's a pile on, is it? Well done. Good so, stuff. I didn't pile on. 
I didn't buy I, one. Mate, well, I'm just a squirrel trying to get a nut. That's all it is. You, 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 you and Marty are the kings and just, uh, you know. Yeah. Well, talking about Newcastle, yeah. you, you and me saw one of the funniest things we've ever seen. Uh, which was after the show, someone in Newcastle told us there was a secret nightclub. <laughs> there, someone told us this, there's a secret nightclub right. in Newcastle, but it's got a fake door, so it doesn't look like a nightclub. But yeah. once you get there you, and you're in the door, yeah. it's, you know, this looks like a normal office. So, <laughs> so we're out with Marty Sheargold and Lawrence Mooney, who think every building we pass is the secret nightclub. Yeah, every, bu- every building, uh, MG. And so we're walking down this street in uh, Newcastle, me and Mick behind, because Ma- Marty was convinced, and L- Lawrence was convinced that every every door could have been the one. Because like, it, was, it, was, it, was like it was like a new show on Seven called Mystery Door or something. And like they would Shane just go Stephen in. Song. Exactly. They, they let themselves into buildings. They got into an office block that was up for lease and are walking around desks that still have stationery on it. Yeah. Well, well, they just were, oh, it's in here. It's got to be in here. Marty went to the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, was, one, it was. It was. Um. It was. Uh. Who. Who would know? Actually. And so we. Could, we Mickey and I are out on the street, looking into this abandoned bu- or this building that's for lease. And you can see the boys have got their their torch lights on. You know, it's like it was like Watergate. They were, <laughs> they were, I thought they were going to take some files. And then then they came out. Right, and Mick and I are standing there, and Marty was a bit like, "Oh, well, you boys, you're not involved. You're not. You're not part of this. You don't why, want to come in yeah, and party. Yeah, well, you don't want to come in. And why didn't you come in? And I said, I tell you why we didn't come in, because not for one second did we think that that was a nightclub. That is an a that is a building office that's for lease. You with just passing boys. It's just passing. <laughs> it just should have been done. Anyway, we all got home safely, and, oh, yeah. obviously, and you were very funny too. Oh, yeah. whatever, mate. It's a bit late for that. You have played yeah. the clip. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? And can I tell you? You'll be funny tonight on, the, on Channel 7. Channel 7. Well, I saved, you, I saved you last week with Eric Banner and Luke Longley, who, oh, yeah. who absolutely well, just did not like you. <laughs> <laughs> they just, there was no connection, no chemistry at all. How good was the multi? The, the multi, really. Oh, for those who stick around, it's right at the end. <laughs> it's at the end for a reason. Tonight, Mel Meninga and Kathy Freeman. Come on, like, that's pretty good, isn't people it? People often go, what's the greatest sporting moment in the country's history? Bang, Kathy Freeman. Well, not, not, only, not only are they great sports people, but they're probably two of the, best, the most famous Indigenous people in, on our planet. You know, they're fantastic <laughs> athletes and they're great ornaments to their sports. I've got a, I've got a big decision to make. I've got a mate. Who, you know, What's that? Who, who, did, who do I drip tray? Do you oh. mean I drip tray to and Mal, Mal or, or Kathy? See, mate, Joy, everyone wants to can know. You, can you double drip tray? You can't you can do double. two drip trays in the one show. It's too much can for I, everyone. Can I tell you something? I've got to prep for it. I've got a big drip tray announcement to make to Oh, oh wow. Well. Just stay away from the well. – protect the tray. You're always trying to get in on it. Just leave it alone. He always tries to overproduce it, MJ. Yeah. Oh, no, it's a big – it's, it's an organism. It's natural. Just let it go. There's a big surprise coming tonight. That's oh, all no. I'm saying. Oh, Sam Pang, ladies and gentlemen. Love oh, you, Sam. Thanks, Sam. Love you, Thanks, brother. guys.